If you're replacing your transmission cooler lines, you're going to have two different variants. You're gonna have a vehicle that has a heavy duty tow package and your standard non heavy duty tow package. If you don't have a heavy duty tow package, you will only have two hoses on the radiator. You have your upper line and then your rubber hose and then below your rubber hose, you see your lower line. Those are your only two lines. You don't mess with this rubber hose. You just mess with the hard line at the bottom and the hard line at the top. Now, if you do have a heavy duty tow package, you're going to have an additional cooler, which is located underneath the grill in front of the radiator. That has two hoses going to it. One comes from the radiator, the other returns back to the transmission. To complete this, we had to remove three things. The lower skid pad or splash guard, the upper radiator cowl, the plastic cowl there, and then we had to remove the grill as well. And we'll show you how to do that in this video. Underneath the vehicle, you can see where your transmission cooler lines run to. This is underneath on the passenger side, and you'll see here that you have your one line that returns to your transmission, which is below. You have your one line that's feeding your transmission cooler, and then you have another line that's coming from the top of the radiator, which is your transmission cooler line that feeds the transmission cooler at the front of the radiator. Now, if you only have a regular package equipped Tahoe, you won't have this third line. You'll only have two lines, which will both go to the radiator. If you follow these lines back, you'll see that they have these black clips. There's going to be probably three or four black clips on yours and then you'll have these metal clips here these are really important to get in the right place you don't want to bend them too much if these lines are touching you will have to bend these so that it does not touch then these lines go all the way back to the transmission and I will show you if you follow the transmission lines they go right behind the fill tube and you can remove them the same way that you remove every single other line and I'll show you how to do that easily on the upper transmission line at the radio. So you can see where your transmission cooler lines go into the transmission. Now there's two little clips that are holding them in that you remove with a pick tool and I'll show you how to do that on the radiator side but these are the two little plastic covers that I've removed and now I'm going to go with the pick tool and remove those too. Now this is the best opportunity that I have to show you how this gets removed. You'll start by grabbing this plastic cover and pulling it backwards. This is a keeper that keeps the clip from popping out. Once that's out of the way, you'll see that you have this metal recessed clip right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out with my pick very gently and remove the clip. Now with the clip removed, you can literally just shake and wiggle the hose hard line right out. Then we'll go ahead and do the exact same thing for the lower transmission line. Now if your vehicle is equipped with a heavy duty tow package, you're going to have an additional transmission cooling line set up right here at the front of the transmission. This is your transmission cooler and you're going to have two lines coming up to this as well. So if you don't have the heavy duty tow package, you can go ahead and replace your two lines. But if you do, you're going to have to gain access to these lines as well, and you're gonna to have to remove, and you're gonna to have to remove some panels to gain some access. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this grill so that we can gain access to those. The first step to removing the grill is to remove this little radiator cover using a panel clip removal tool or a flathead screwdriver. Removing the front grill is really easy. You're going to have a couple of mounting locations up top here that you'll just twist lock off. So you twist lock this one and this one, and then you'll grab your uh, 10 millimeter and you will go ahead and remove this remaining bolt. Then you'll have two more Phillips head screwdriver style little clips that hold in the rest of the grill and you'll just insert them and twist to get them to come off. Then you'll do the same thing over here. 
and then this will all pull off nicely. Now, here are your Phillips head style clips. They are just a push twist lock style. So you set them up into their position, you turn it to the right, it locks it in place, you turn it to the left, it unlocks it, and you can see on the back side that it just latches into its little position and it can't wiggle out. Then the last thing to realize is that on either end of your grill, you have these little clips. And you'll want to press these in with a long flathead screwdriver to remove them. If you don't, you run the risk of heavily damaging this plastic grill because this is brittle and it is old. Now that you've removed your grill, you have direct access to your transmission cooler. So we'll do the same thing that we did on the other clips. We'll pull down our two little plastic covers and then we'll go ahead and remove our little metal clips. So with our pick, we'll just come right on in and move them out of the way. Now that your connections have been undone, you'll go ahead and start to remove your transmission lines, starting from the front and working your way backwards. So you'll see that you'll have a bunch of clips like this. Some will be metal, some will be plastic, and they hold all your clips in place so that they don't chafe on the body. It's really easy to get these out using a flathead screwdriver and shouldn't give you too much fluff at all. So then you'll go ahead and start fishing your transmission cooler line out through the front. So we have our first line down. I just like to compare them to make sure that they are identical. I leave one line on, I pull one line off, and then I swap it so that I follow the same routing. It makes it a little bit easier for me, so I just do them one at a time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put this line back on. Like I was saying, we're now doing the last line. It's in the bag, but I just like to make sure that everything lines up and that they are the same. Now we're going to reattach our grill assembly. 